What's up YouTube? Andrew over here at my home. Going to take a look at the five things that I absolutely hate about my 06 Pontiac Grand Prix GXP. Stay tuned. So here she is. If you haven't seen my video of the five things that I love about my Grand Prix GXP, go check that out after you're done watching this one. So let's get right into it. Number one, thing I hate about my Pontiac Grand Prix GXP is the ride quality. These Bilstein struts are for, you know, sporty cornering and, and handling and the just, the ride is so stiff for a daily driver, I can't stand it. You know, I go over a little bump and it feels like an enormous pothole. That's my number one gripe about my car. You know, I, I drive down the street and it's like the whole car shakes. I'm jumping up and down in my seat because these little bumps feel like potholes. You know, it ju it's just not a very comfortable cruiser when the road conditions are bad. Number two on the list is the fact that the vehicle is front wheel drive. I really wish this car was all wheel drive. Um, you know, in winter, and especially when your tires are a little worn out, you know, they just spin. You have all this V8 horsepower, right? But you can't put it to the ground because the tires just spin. You know, you, you get on a little patch of ice, you get on a little patch of snow, and, and the tires spin. You don't get traction, then traction control turns on, and it's just, you know, it would be just way better if it was all-wheel drive. Number three on the list is the fact that this car has a four-speed automatic transmission. I really don't like the fact that it's a four-speed. I'm not... I, I don't have a problem with the fact that it's an automatic. That's not an issue for me because as a daily driver, it's so much easier to just throw it and drive and just go than to have to fiddle with a manual transmission. Not that I'm a manual hater. You know, I do enjoy driving a manual and I and I understand the market for that and, and it's fun and everything. But as far as a daily driver, I do enjoy the fact that it's an automatic. That's not the issue. The issue is the fact that it's a four speed. There's so much V8 horsepower hanging out under the hood and it just doesn't seem like the car can put it to the ground as well as I would like it to because of the four-speed transmission. You know, it's it's a slightly he, slightly more heavy-duty built version of the same four-speed transmission that they put in the V6 Grand Prix, and it just doesn't cut it. You know, it would be much better if it was a five or six-speed automatic because then it could really de deliver the power through different ranges. You know, I feel like I get stuck in third gear forever you know i'm accelerating and it's like third gear is from like 25 to like over 50 it's ridiculous you know you can't you can't accelerate well when you're just stuck in a gear forever you know so that's my number number three gripe so coming at you with number four on the list the fourth gripe that i have about my car is the fact that it's a v8 it's a 5.3 liter it's an ls line motor and it only has 303 horsepower that that's a problem i love horsepower i love noise i like accelerating you know i like the whole aspect of owning a sports car or a muscle car but it just seems like 303 horsepower is just not that much for a newer v8 car and so that's definitely why i have to put that as my number four gripe on the list is i just want more power you know i've, I've done some mods to my car i did the intake i did the exhaust neither one of them those items did much to the performance and I didn't think that they would I didn't have high expectations for those aspects though those are more for for noise and just for for shits and giggles you know just to have some fun with it but um, and then I also I also have a uh, Diablo Sport tuner so I have it tuned on a 91 octane performance tune that uh, that turns off the displacement on demand and so that's really helpful for you know reduce my gas mileage get pulling all that v8 horsepower out of her but still i'd love to have another 50 horsepower out of this thing you know i think that would just that would just make my day if this thing had just a little bit more power if it if it just put it to the ground a little bit harder you know i i'd be a lot more happier as a grand prix owner you know i feel like they kind of market it as oh it's a sports car oh it's you know it's fast it's this it's that and you know at the end of the day i just want more power you know i'm from america i want the american muscle car you know and it's just kind of in that sports car class so that's why that's my number four gripe right on the list last but not least number five on the list is the radio i wish my car had the touchscreen radio that they put in from the factory you either got the option for this radio which is, I mean, it's a good radio for the day. You know, it doesn't have auxiliary input, which sucks. You know, I'd like to plug my phone in, or it doesn't have Bluetooth, but that wasn't really the popular thing in 06. However, 
I just wish it had the touch screen. I'm pretty sure that one gets uh, navigation too, so that would be really nice. But I mean, it has a six disc changer. You know, it has I mean, it. It has pretty good sound. You know, you have the speakers throughout, and you know the big, the big speakers in the back are you know like mid range woofers. I'm pretty sure. So I mean, it it has good sound. That's not the problem. I think I would just like you know the touch. I just want the touch screen. You know, can can I? Uh, can I just come out right and say it? I just want the touchscreen. I want the navigation. You know, I want the the crisp, clean look. You know, the radio with all the buttons is just kind of, it's just kind of 2006. You know, and it it kind of elevated its game when they put the touchscreen in there. You know, it makes the whole interior look cleaner. You know, it's a little bit probably easier to operate than having to push 30 different buttons to get it to do what you want. I mean, it does have the steering wheel controls. So you got you know your volume, you got your mute, play, whatever. You know, adjust the channel, band, one through six, CD changer. So, I mean, it's not a bad radio, but it's like, I just want the touchscreen, you know? So that concludes the five things that I hate about my Grand Prix GXP. If you liked anything in the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. Consider hitting that like button. You are the best. Thanks for watching. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.